Good day, fellow investors. Now, everybody is so afraid about a stock market crash. And here I come and I say, a stock market crash is good for you, is good for me, is good for everybody. Am I crazy again, like in the video where I said that gold will go to 20,000? Please evaluate that by watching the video. My point is that 99% of investors invest constantly over time. We start investing with the first paycheck when we get our job, when we have something extra, then we start investing for our retirement, for some other goals, for, I don't know, children's tuition or whatever. However, we invest con constantly, month per month per month per month, and that spans over 10, 20, 30, 40, even 50 years. And let me show you why then a high stock market is not good. I'll take the example of Berkshire Hathaway. And I'll explain why it's better for us that the S&P 500 would be at 1000 where it was at the beginning of 2010. If you invest $12,000 per year in Berkshire, let's say the B share, since January 1, 2010, at the beginning of each year, you would now have a portfolio of 963 shares of Berkshire with a value of $176,000. Total investment would be $96,000, so that's double what you have invested, which is good. However, if the stock market would have remained flat from 2010 till now, and you would have constantly invested $12,000 per year in Berkshire, you would now have, of course, $96,000 because that's what you invested, Nevertheless, the number of Berkshire shares would be 1,454. That's 51% higher. So my question is, for long-term investors, if you want to retire, is it better to retire on 1,454 shares of Berkshire or 963? And that's the difference in my opinion. A stock market crash allows you to buy much more shares in number give you, gives you larger ownership of a business, gives you a higher yield in the long term, a higher return of the earnings, and therefore your wealth in the long term would be much higher than it is currently the case with high valuation and the S&P 500 at record highs. Let me show you with dividend reinvesting included. One of my favorite stocks is Pfizer, the pharmaceutical giant. What's funny about the company is that revenue in 2007 was 48 billion, now it is 52 billion. Earnings per share were $1.17, now they're $1.17, or they were in 2016. Book value was $9.6, now it is $9.81. So it's a perfect stop company that went nowhere in the last 10 years, however they paid the dividend, so it is a stable company. Nevertheless, the stock price went from 22 in 2007, then down to 11 in 2009, and now it is up to 35. So it really resembles the stock market, and as the stock market, the earnings are practically flat. By applying the same strategy as I did with Berkshire, where I invested 12,000 per year, and reinvesting the dividends since 2010, the current Fitzer portfolio would be at 4,463 shares or $158,000. However, if Fitzer's stock stayed at the 2010 levels when it was at 18.20, the portfolio, and I would reinvest their dividend, the portfolio would now consist of 6,421 shares. And the, here is the main difference. The current dividend yield from the portfolio, actual portfolio, would be $5,712 per year. However, at Fitzer stock being flat for the past seven years, the current dividend yield would be $8,218, thus 43% higher than the actual case. So when you want to retire, do you want to retire with an, with an income of $5,000 or $8,000? And that's the main difference. Again, a high stock market lowers your long-term yield, lowers your earnings. And we all know stock prices are volatile. So you might have a huge portfolio now, but if the stock market crashes 50% of 70%, that portfolio would lose a lot of value. So the accumulation of ownership, the more stocks you own, the better it is for you in the long term. So even if we would see now a stock market crash, we can take it with a smile. And that's my point. If stocks go up, good, smile. If stocks go down, 
Good, smile. That's that's it. If stocks fall, I simply buy more. If stocks go up, okay, I can sell, I can enjoy my life, and that's it. And that's the main philosophy. So you can be happy all the time. That's why Buffett is 85 or who knows how many years old, because he has been always happy and avoided stress. So always try to avoid stress when investing. The stock market will go up and down. Just take it with a smile and buy more if it's cheap or sell if it's high and enjoy your life. I hope you liked the video. Simple message today. So enjoy your life as the stock market is high, but be ready to buy more when it will be cheap and eventually it will be. Click like if you like the content, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.